Before I explain you about how to become an aircraft maintenance engineer, you must watch the story. Imagine you're on a flight, enjoying the view, and suddenly the plane breaks apart mid-air. This happened not once but multiple times in 1950s. This was the De Havilland Comet, the world's first jet airlines. It was supposed to be the future of air travels. But then disaster struck. One after another, these jets started breaking apart mid-flight. But no one knew why. The pilots were experienced, engines were working fine. So What was the problem then? A team of aircraft maintenance engineers and aviation experts got to work. They took an old Comet aircraft fuselage and started running the test. They pressurized the aircraft again and again, just like a real flight. And after a few thousands of cycles. metals started to break and then they found the real problem that was the square windows you see the square windows have a sharp corners and these corners create stress points in the metal over a time a tiny crack formed and after hundreds of flight the plane would break apart so what did they do They redesigned all the aircraft windows to be round. No more sharp corners, no more stress points and it worked. The comet disaster led to the introduction of fatigue testing and non-destructive inspections. The airlines and manufacturers overhauled the maintenance protocols making the airlines safer than ever. This is where AME comes in. making sure no airlines suffer the same fate every modern aircraft undergoes rigorous safety checks like pressure test structural inspections and fatigue monitoring the aircraft maintenance engineers play a direct role in preventing history from repeating itself the lesson from the comet disaster is why today's aviation industry rely heavily on the skilled aircraft maintenance engineer to safeguard the airlines So if you're dreaming to become an aircraft maintenance engineer in India and have no clarity understanding these steps is much important and step number 3 is very important so watch the video till the end step number 1 if you have completed your 12th from physics chemistry and maths or have a diploma in engineering you are eligible to apply step number 2 now there are two main ame courses you can choose from category a that's of 2 years for those who want to work as a technicians specializing in a quick repair and troubleshooting they can choose category a which is for 2 years of course category b which is for 4 years for those who wants advanced license and work in a deeper aircraft maintenance inspections and complex repair this is the right choice so if you want to go big in your career then category b would be the right choice because it gives you full dgc approved license to maintain and certify the aircraft for flight step number 3 the next step is to choose dgc approved ame institute see this is super important because only dgc certified training lets you earn a valid ame license in india during your training you will study aerodynamics avionics jet engines landing gear systems and more And trust me this is where you'll start feeling like a real aviation engineer. Step 4. Just like pilots, aircraft maintenance engineers need to pass exams. DGCA conducts multiple module exams which you need to clear it. Through this you're one step closer to your AME license. Step 5. Theory is important, but hands-on experience is everything in this field. After your course you will do on the job training at an airlines or yamaro this is where you will learn real world aircraft maintenance the comet tragedy has shaped the modern aviation safety and today it's ame who make sure that the aircraft doesn't leave the ground without having the high standard safety checks 
If you want a career which saves the life and shapes the future of aviation, becoming an aircraft maintenance engineer would be a right call. So this was all from my side today guys. If you found the video helpful, please let me know in the comment section below and share it to your friend who want to become an aircraft maintenance engineer. So thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.